What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to Left to Metal. Going to be doing a, I don't know what to call this video. Uh, my buddy uh, Greg the Egg would call this a rock hall video. Rock hall. So we'll call it a rock hall video. Why not? Um, but this is just a bunch of collectible stuff. You know, if, if you've seen my any of my videos from the last eight, ten years, you know, besides actual music, I also collect, you know, buttons and and just all kinds of collector stuff that has to do with heavy metal and hard rock. So um, I'm not a huge collector of these, but I did get a couple um, of the Pop Rocks ones. Um, I'm just a huge Jimi Hendrix geek, and I ran across this one for very cheap. Um, so I, I picked it up, and I'll add it to my collection. I probably have, I don't know, I can actually see the ones I have. I probably have maybe 15 of these things. Um, uh, and I already have at least one or two Jimi Hendrix ones, so just going to be adding this one to the collection. And it is an authentic Hendrix product, so it's a legally licensed product. So uh, pretty cool. I, I like it. I like it. Um, wearing the bandana. This is um, see. It says on there somewhere where this is. Nah, can't find it. Oh, Hendrix live in Maui. So that would have been right right before he passed away uh, in the early '70s. So. Nice little Hendrix pop one, but I also picked up this one really cheap. Um, this is Freddie Mercury, and there's a bunch of different Freddie Mercury ones, but he's wearing the actual the Queen outfit here. Uh, it's funny, I, I think this is a second Freddie Mercury one, but I don't have any of the other guys from the band, uh, which they're actually pictured on the back here, so I actually wouldn't mind getting those four um, that you see up here. So I have these ones. <laughs> I just don't have any of those ones. Uh, again, I, I just don't spend a lot of money on these, and if I find them cheap, I grab them. Um, but, you know, whatever. If I do ever find any of the other Queen ones, I'll grab them. So. All right, next up, just some more cool memorabilia stuff, and I have some cassette tapes I'm going to show. Um, this I've never seen one of these before. I picked up this from the same guy I bought the Judas Priest collection for that I showed, 7 Inch Collection. But this is a European tour scarf from Overkill. I'm sure you've seen, you know, the videos with all the... European uh, guys at the, at the at the soccer games holding up their scarves with the with their favorite team on it. Well, that this is one of those, um, and apparently he's had this in his collection for a long time. Picked up when he was over in Europe, and just had no use for it anymore, so he sold it to me. So uh, very cool. This will be being displayed in my office very soon, as soon as I figure out how and where I want to display it. Um, but that same the same guy who sold me this and those pre singles also gave me a few cool things that just out of the blue that I'm going to show here too. Uh, gave me a nice st stitched Twisted Sister patch from the Stay Hungry era. The Bone TS logo. Gave me a, uh, a Lemmy Motorhead um, magnet, refrigerator magnet. Gave me a Motorhead pewter, I believe it is, pin. And he gave me this tin Motorhead uh, Snaggletooth mug, which will also be displayed in my office prominently somewhere so you know, I figure out where I want to put it at. So those are all cool little collectible things that I um, just thought I'd show off. And it was really nice of him to gift me these things. So um, I, I dig that kind of crap. I'm kind of a geek over any of that kind of stuff. All right, then we got a handful of... Uh, a handful of CD, uh, cassettes here that I want to show off that I picked, picked up recently. Or um, a couple of these were gifts from uh, Harmless Rebel. Let me show you those first. <coughs> Where are they? Where are they? Well, where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. It was upside down. So this is a brand new release um, from Oath Computer Warrior. Limited pressing um, on the purple case. Still in the plastic. I haven't even cracked it off yet. I did just purchase a new cassette deck um, so I could play these. My old cassette deck was just worn and I, it, I didn't want it to wreck my tapes. So I uh, just got to hook it up. You know, got to have time to do those. So there you go. Oath. <clears throat> Cassettes are kind of in rage right now. Um, a lot of old albums are being repressed to cassette. Um, I was always a bigger vinyl fan than cassettes. Um, they're kind of a cool collectible, though, regardless. So um, for certain bands, I, I collect them stuff. I, I've got tons of Aerosmith ones. Big shock, right? Uh, but this is another band I collect singles from. I mean, cassettes from. <coughs> Dirty Looks. A band that I was, um, you know, 
I'm not saying like I was best friends with him, but I was friendly and talked on the phone with uh, vocalist Henrik until he passed away a few years ago. Uh, but this is their bootlegs on the Shrapnel label. This is kind of a collection of, of tracks that didn't make albums. Um, great stuff, kind of, I don't know, dirty, gutter, hard rock, heavy metal. Uh, a lot of these people would call these guys, you know, glam metal, but they really weren't glam metal. I mean, they the look wasn't glam, as you can see. It was just denim and leather. And the sound wasn't really that way either. Uh, excuse me if my voice is... Uh, I'm having some issues with allergies, and it's... <coughs> My throat is scratchy, so. <clears throat> but this is was actually a gift from Metal Rob. This is the Rip It Out album, still sealed. I have the CD of this, so uh, you know I may just keep this one sealed, just because it's such a cool collector's item. You just don't ever see these anywhere. So on the Mirror Records label, which is uh, of course the label that was out of Rochester, New York, and House of Guitars, um, and these as well. Rumble Dog, which of course is pretty much a similar, slightly heavier version of Dirty Looks, again with uh, Henrik on vocals. And there was two albums, and he found he got me steel copies of both. So psh, that's freaking awesome. So so you got Rumble Dog, uh, self-titled, and then the Drowning Pool cassettes. And again, I had these on on CD, so it was nice to get the cassette versions. <clears throat> While we're at it with uh, Rochester bands, and speaking of that, you know House of Guitars and whatnot. This is yet another version of Uncle Sam. I think this is now the fifth version of this album that I have. Uh, obviously, this is a repressing. The original was only on vinyl. Um, came out back in 84, 85. No, it had to be later than that. Probably 87. Uh, the original was on vinyl only. <clears throat> and the young woman you see there was not wearing the panties. So, um, This is a later pressing uh, on Skelter Records. But I just never even owned it on cassette, so I found this one for a decent price and snatched it up. So now I think I have a CD pressing, a uh, two different vinyl pressings, the original one and the edited one with the with the panties, and I have the cassette version here. Um, and then two older '80s bands, classic. These are classic. I love this band. I collect anything from Hellstar, Texas heavy metal. This is the original. Pressing, you can see with the looks like trees growing out of the girl's hands. Later pressings, they removed those odd looking trees. It obviously was supposed to be lightning, it just didn't work very well. Um, very cool. I, I just, I don't know, it's just a cool little collectible. Uh, James Rivera been one of my favorite vocalists forever. To me, he's in league with you know the, the Rob Halfords and Jeff Tates and Bruce Dickinson's and those kind of guys. I mean, the, the guy just can sing. Uh, fantastic album from them. One of my favorites from that, you know, U.S. power metal sound, A Distant Thunder. It was their first album on Metal Blade Records, their third album overall. And then this one also came from Steve. This is crossover, hardcore slash thrash. More pushing towards hardcore than thrash, in my opinion. But this is The Accused. Um, Grinning Like an Undertaker. And again, I haven't heard this one yet. Um, what is labels this on? Because, like I said, I haven't hooked up my new cassette deck yet. Nasty Max Records. So, looking forward to checking that out. I haven't heard this one yet. I've never owned this album in any format, so looking forward to checking it out. Alright, so what else we got? Is that it? Um, I think that's it for this one. Like I said, it was going to be a short rock haul video. Just wanted to show off some, some cool stuff that I picked up over the last uh, you know few months that wasn't vinyl or CD related. So, appreciate y'all watching. That's it. God bless. Stay strong.